Hit this record button. There we go. Let's go kill some demons. Let's go punch demons in the face. All right. So let's um. Let's just do completion in the zone. So let me see if I pull it up in here. Areas discovered, side dungeons, altars of Lilith. I know I just found the uh, the first one so far. Yeah, so let's just let's just hundred percent um, areas as we go. I think that'll be the easiest because it's something you really need to do anyways. Okay. So I'm just gonna pick up these yes, blue side quests first. I'm picking up this one right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm grabbing it too. Perhaps you could sweep the roads and see what's taking you so long. Too. Look at the okay, this is the one I played yesterday. Let's just go to the next town, pretty much. Did you do the, um, I think I remember doing it one off camera. There was one over here where you had to, like, praise the soldiers. Did you do that one? I'm not sure. I think it was, uh, oh yeah, I've it was I've done this almost lady. all the side quests in this zone, which is why I wanted to do it in yours, so that we can 100% it for you too. They deserve a little praise. Yeah, this lady, uh, you just had to go next door and do like an emote, and Mind giving them a that was it. Oh yeah, hang on, let's see here. Rising Spirits. Uh, let's see, what button was that? It was... Yeah. No, 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 not that. So wait, you already did this? Not on this character, but on the character that I'm playing solo with. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm just trying to remember what the emote button was. Oh, there it goes. Uh, here we go. Well done. Uh, efficient. But I just mentioned, you know, only because right here. And... Thanks. I hope they don't get used to it. So, easy quest, done. Yep. And, alright, so let's go do this other one up here. I pinned it on the map. I don't know if you're able to see what I pin on the map, or if it has to be the leader that pins it. Um, well, you pinned the one last time and it didn't show up. I just think we can't see each other's pins. I know when I was playing by myself, I uh, saw what you were talking about, with that, uh, the line you were talking about before that we couldn't see. Yeah, it's so useful because I just beeline the mm. the guideline it tells me to follow. So I wonder why 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 is your health bar darker than mine? Is it like um, darker for oh, everybody that's like not the leader? I guess. I don't Ooh, know. they got a circle what? thing. I don't know if these are world events or something. Yeah. There. The, the only thing with those is that they're um, not very useful until you're higher level. I'll come to, I'm coming back to you. Okay. Yeah, he just stands still, I guess, waiting for me to hit him or something. Oh yeah, you have to kill this guy that's protecting him first. I remember I've been doing these. I think they give you uh, some kind of currency. Oh, ow. Oh, you have died. Bad day. Not as tanky as I thought. These guys are no joke. I need more fury. And I'm killing the shaman guy over here. Oh, they're all making... This guy's making this point. He keeps linking though, which is a problem for us. Mm, we got it. I've got to pay attention to what link. I'm doing. So when you see like this like red line that he has, the shaman mm. over here in the corner. Yeah, you gotta take out the shaman and then, shaman like, and, uh, then the yeah. and, then like him. and it'll put like a gray bar over his health bar too. Oh, now he's got five links out of nowhere. Great. Oh, I think I know what it is. When you play with multiple people, does it make the game harder? I mean, I'm um, assuming, but assuming it would, but yeah. Okay, that's why things. Then we're taking. we're on world rank two as well. Okay. Meant to be more difficult. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, not that I'm on. It's just uh, it, um, I noticed when I was playing uh solo, oh, like things were a little bit too good. easy. Oh no, I'm frozen and vulnerable. I'm dead. 
don't have enough fury. Um, yeah, so we might just want to drop it to rank one and be able to push through the stuff easily. Oh, did he, like, reset to full health? Ah, uh, I think he did. Why do I keep getting frozen by this guy? Might be everybody throwing those, uh, snowflake things. Alright, let's go back to main town. And, uh, like, not worry about that thing right now. We'll be back! I'm asleep. <laughs> I won the battle, but not the war. I'm just gonna change the difficulty. I think it'll just make you agree to it. Um, it says you have to be here. To I'm coming. I'm just being an annoyance to him. Character all covered with blood and whatnot. I feel like I'm playing Dragon Age. I swear, that was one game where, like, you got into one fight, your character's just caked out in red blood all over your outfit. Like, if somebody had one bloodborne STD, like, <laughs> all you gotta do is get in a fight with them, and you, you'd, get to, you'd get it too. There we go. Uh, yes. Alright, there we go. Now we're in World Tier 1. Let's go back out. And we can use that fight we just did as a test. Okay. I must wait. I mean, we could, we could have probably did it. I mean, we just struggled a little bit, but it wasn't too hard. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like these people that came here just wrecked the shit. Man, all right, never mind. Stupid. That we did all the work. We made him one yeah. shot, and y'all just kind of came along and like kicked him while he was down. Escape the road. So we have to find the monk out here. Uh huh. Bozan. Polar bears! I remember when I was recording for the solo gameplay. Every time I would see him, I, I would like do that war cry move that the uh, barbarian has. And then it'd be like, Where's yep. my coke? But. Somewhere. Can't, any kids who watch my videos, they probably won't get that reference. Y'all will, though. Eat my shorts. I know he was like had his back to like a. a All right, face. I found the monk. He's up here. Okay. Yeah, because I remember he was injured and I was like, "Here, take this thing to the town." Collect the tidings demands. Strong box. Indeed, I am. Here we go. My God turned on me. To Deliver them the to Talgon, the merchant lord. All I could do before I lost consciousness was go over the cliff. Right over here. Okay. To to one of the things that we can also do is we can actually split up on quests, and like one of us goes one way, one of us goes the other. Okay, to knock them out at the same time. Yeah. We All right, we could do that. Harder, harder. All right, I'm turning this one in. Did you get credit for that quest just now? I don't have. Uh, I don't think so. Nothing popped up, so maybe I gotta turn it on my end. Uh, is there a way for you to port to me, or do you have the way shrine discovered now that I'm standing next to you that I just discovered? Uh, not on this character now. Man, why are they doing that shit? Just let it work for everybody in group. About to have it done. All right. There's another side quest right down here that I just grabbed. I am. Payment of gemstones. Yeah, I think I remember doing this one too. I just went up north and like gem and the gemstones were just lying on the ground in a bag. Yeah, I'm on my way. That's the thing is, I'm gonna get there. I'm confused at how this works then because. I heard there's people that were just like grouping up and like splitting up and going in different directions and doing everything simultaneously, so I don't know how it's supposed to work. Mm hmm. Because I know. Uh, I uh, fight some shit. 
Because I know right now everything is separate. Like, you know, when you your quest is your quest, my quest is my quest. Yeah. Very squishy right now on this tune. Gotta be not squishy. Insatiable right. hunger. Payment acquired. I remember doing this thing. I'm just porting back. Uh, so does it say that you have the stuff? Uh, no. No, mine is just this. It's still saying, get the payment of gemstones. Damn it. Oh, I should have waited for you because the shit's probably going to respawn. Yeah, we good. I'm just doing this uh, circle thing. Getting experience. How are you ahead of me in level? Yeah, that's weird. I shouldn't. Well, well, I just leveled up like a couple seconds ago. Did you cheat on me? Ah, big werewolf, no. Don't get to the lady. I'm out of fury. Wait. So all of you. Like, will be pleased. Gear and everything is shared account wide, apparently, which is cool. Oh, flesh thresher. Go down, back. big boy. Low on fury. All right. So your health, you're alive. Yeah. Yeah, it says your. It said your health was completely depleted on my screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I just that. did the thing where I walked in and benefited. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the thing that Jude hates damage. in Cyrodiil? <laughs> yeah. I don't know that shit. That's for sure. Now I'm gonna walk up here and get that thing. I'm out of fury. That is a noticeable damage increase. Oh, I gotta figure out what to do with the skill point. Um... I'm gonna put mine in once I, uh, once I go back to town, turn that quest in. Fifty percent increased movement speed afterwards. Damaging an enemy with shadow step increases your critical strike chance against them by oh plus eight percent. Mero sent you that spineless man. Sure. <laughs> this will cost him dearly. Guy, why do you have a bomb on your on your back? Oh, that's why. You're gonna make me fight you. you know, so I recorded this yesterday. Somebody must have already killed him. I don't remember doing this in this part of the quest. I'm out of fury. It's locked. Oh, I just bought one of those keys too. Whispering key or whatever. I bought one of those Damn. Like, when I was recording I yesterday. So, apparently, that's a thing that's not account wide because I have tons of those on. No. Um, actually, you know what? So now I know. Uh, uh, know what to do to get that. Let me see if or herbals. Uh, where's my currency at? Yeah. So hang on. I'm gonna mark this location. I'll be right back. I'm gonna open this shit. I wonder if it counts for us both opening it. Okay. I'm gonna test that out. Alright, be here when you get back. I just need to go to the fucking... Oh, I don't know if I'm high enough level yet to go to this guy. I am. Hell yeah. Well, they had one uh, in the... I want to say in the main town. You could buy those keys. Yeah. That's where I just ported to. Talk to this mystic guy. Yeah, I think um, there was like a vendor that sold like crafted items. Like, like whatever currency you get for the world events. I remember going back to him and having like 140 some of it, and, and I bought one of the weapons. I don't know if they were like random chance weapons or whatever, but he was like, "Oh, sorry, try again." And I figured it like it was like a, like a loot box thing, so I only yeah, tried it twice. What it is. Um, generally speaking, it's best to keep it for like higher levels, just because higher levels it'll last longer. Like at these early levels, you're leveling so often that mm -hmm. if you get something good from it, it'll be. You won't need to keep Obsolete. it. Obsolete. No time. I've waited for you. Alright. I have a key. 
opening. Did it open for you? No. Nope. Damn. So that's separate too. Hang on. Let me see if I can do this. Do you see the key on the ground? Nope. This fucking game, dude. Yeah, okay. All right. Um. Here, let's go to this dungeon that's right over to the east of us, like ten feet. Okay. Uh, that thing's back up. Yeah. Oh, Time to get more stuff. And more glorious experience. I need more fury. There's so many of these fucking defensive things coming in. So, uh, my axe hits kind of decent, so we got a necromancer here. Let's see what the third guy is. Oh, we got an actual werewolf on the team. I'm sitting there trying to hit him. I'm like, why isn't he dying? <laughs> we, got, we got a druid on here, too. A new bow. God damn, that's a lot more damage. This thing sucks. Triple dagger. More armor is good. Dexterity is good. More armor is good. Ooh, another skill point. Okay, where should I put this one? Ah, crap. Got a regular human? Okay, regular. Okay. I've never seen that enemy before. Uh, now what can I put this into? Ah, come on. Leave me alone. Let me use my skill point. <laughs> Where's that war crime? Ah, uh, little, little statue. They try, oh, they was trying to hide yeah. it over here. Yeah, they are very hidden. Strength has increased by two permanently for all. That strength is very nice for you on a barbarian. Yep, yep, yep. So that's your main stat. That's your damage scaling right over here. Forbidden city. I noticed a lot of these little side areas, just like one or two rooms, just filled with enemies. Do they yep. have, um, I know like in the older Diablo games you had like the actual dungeons that you can go into and and do stuff. Are those called something different? No, they're the same. There's, it just really depends on size. There's some that are massive and some that are tiny. Okay. Because I know so far only all, all the ones I found there's like one or two rooms and being super tiny, so. Yeah, I think this will be a bigger one. Slay the enraged spirits. I think it's going to give us something at the end. Low on fury. There we go. Now I'm almost back to my former self. Alrighty, I need somebody. to uh, use a skill point real quick. Okay. Let me see here. I can check my inventory too. It's done for two seconds. That sounds good. What's this thing? See which one of these is better. Probably that one. Hey, look at all these runes and stuff on the ground. This might very well be my last journal. The knight's penitent have fallen. I hear 
and listened to the screams as they were torn and devoured by the creatures. I didn't want to end up like the others. Nothing but the blood splatter on the floor. The city walls that kept us safe have trapped us in with them. I pray the cathedral sends reinforcements soon. And will have mercy when they know of my cowardice. Take that, vampire. Yeah, it's it. to escape. That's why you can't have sex no more. Let me, if I do, oh, I need to stunned. Oh, my fault. Uh, I didn't realize you were trying to do something. <laughs> Somebody spawning behind us? What was that? Yeah. Helmets. Ooh, what? That's armor spinner. That's better. Helmet on. Oh, that must have been a buff or something that was on that. And I was like, what? I got this thing pulsing above my head. Yeah, it's a shrine that I picked up. Yeah, this place is a whole lot bigger than, uh, than the small ones. I've noticed that the potions don't stay around either. Like the armor and weapons oh. stay, but the potions, like if you leave, they, they, they come back. Yeah, they have a cooldown. That's like one of the biggest mechanics in this game is like how many potions you have and how you can manage your potion as a resource for survivability. And there's a lot of fights where the, the bosses will drop potions, like two at a specific point in the fight. Uh, just so you can help, you know, help you along if you waste them. Yeah, and you have to plan around how many you're getting and stuff like that. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, Dark Souls in that way. You can't just be wasting your healing items. You have to choose whether to keep playing and just be better or uh, use it and not get hit later. Do you use it? Do you lose it? Uh, play all enemies in the Forgotten Crypts. Okay, so we gotta go through this door. Door is sealed. Oh, oh we have to here. slay all enemies. I really need an AoE skill that's not my spam hole. I can probably get the, uh, the stomp if you want me to. I just got a point. Oh, yeah, you and me both need to get some AoE stuff. Yeah, let me see. Because I know I got that stomp that'll stun enemies for a little bit, for like three seconds. I might give you time to do what you need to do. Right, got mine. We need more fury. I've heard some over here. The uh, conduit greed shrine. You want to hit that right, before we go through the door? Yeah, I hit it. So there's a bunch of shit over this way. When you have a thing that says like kill all enemies, they'll show up as red dots on the map. Oh, okay. So that's what they're that about. Yeah. Okay. Since it's an objective, it's like a, it's kind of nice. No, oh, thanks. Stop pulsing. <laughs> But kept knocking me away from everybody. Oh, not ready yet. 
Yeah, so those are like fear AoEs that the enemies are putting on the ground. Alright. You gotta try to get out of here. Uh, vampire guy down here. Event joined. Oh, there's an event over there? No. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't even see you. I thought I thought she was a dead body. We came here to purge this evil. But now I can't leave my friends here. Not like, like this. this. We, we can't do, do it alone. Uh, we just gotta save them. Yeah, sorry, I'm turning up my volume. Oh, no problem. I got this. Alright, I'm good. These regular ghosts. Ooh, simple bow. Something I'm never gonna use. Magus wand. Um, I don't think I can use no wands. That's not what I use. Take this, my friend. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Better give us something other than a health boat. Man, really? Yo, I got some gold fucking shoes. Let's go. Plus one of eight charge. Hell yeah. Never seen anyone fight like you. Yeah, I got uh, skills. That legendary item I can't even use. So I'm gonna swap. Um, you can still decon it for maths, which is very good. So it's still actually very useful to you, even if you can't use it, ironically. Mm. Um, assign the skill to here. Okay, and then I need to grab, let me grab this AoE skill. See how this goes. Okay, Ooh, plus 20 to strength, give me that. Oh, plus 24 strength, okay, that got replaced. Mm, magic short sword. That's worth that. Alright. Did we go through that door that we found earlier? No, we couldn't, because we have to slay all enemies still, so we gotta look for any more red dots on the map. Oh, okay. So there's some more down here. The AoE on this AoE skill is very small. Uh, I think mine is pretty big, so. Worst case, I could stun him while you do uh, your hits on him. Just that'll keep him off of you for like three seconds. No, for Seti, they set a trap for us. What should we do? Hunter has become the hunted. Drop something, I can't pick that up. Uh, drop. 
My burden is too great. Right. Uh, okay, I've got to hold it. I've got to mark a bunch of stuff as junk. Is there any way to uh, increase your inventory space? Uh, nope. Okay, so it's I haven't seen of any. Get out of here. Get those enemies out of here. Ooh, what's that statue there? It's kind of creepy. I can't lift more. Why the fuck do I keep getting wands? I can't use wands on this character. Let me drop some of this cheaper stuff. Is that better than what I have? No. That is, though. Alright, so we've killed everything at least. So now you can go through that one door. I'll wait for you. Yep, I'm coming. Wish they had like a sprint in this game. This may be a boss fight because. Yeah, well, movement speed and like how you move your character and stuff to evade attacks is like a very big. Oh, big part of the strategy. Yeah. Take care of these ads real quick. You don't need more time. It says I have two charges of this shit. Idiot. So he's gonna he's gonna drop health potions here, watch. There. Yep. <laughs> so how do you know when he's about to drop potions? Is it just like every quarter at, of the health bar? Look at his health bar and there's a like red triangle yeah. at the above his health bar. That's the part where he drops health potions. Oh, okay. And usually, once you do that, they go up a phase, and their phase becomes more difficult. Okay. So now this guy, you notice, he's throwing all these skulls out that mm. do damage and stuff. Makes it more difficult. Yeah, I figured that much. Usually, most games where you have uh, big boss fights like these, you know, they have something like that. He'll be dead in a sec, though. So we just got a stun phase on him. This is where he takes a lot of increased damage. Alright, so once we complete this... Alright, you should get a thing. There. Dungeon complete, Forbidden City. So... Yeah, so this is what, like... So do you see where it says you have unlocked Night Howler's Aspect? In yeah. In your products of power? Yep. So go to your, um... Uh, like, hit Escape... Mm -hmm. And go to uh, collections. All right, now I'm clicking it. Uh, Blood Howl increases critical strike chance. Blah blah. Blood Howl also affects nearby companions and players. But yeah, so so there's like over a hundred of these dungeons in the world, okay. and yeah. each of them gives you. So what that is is a legendary power that, like you know, would typically be on a piece of legendary gear. But when you complete a dungeon like this, you mm -hmm. have an option in crafting to add that legendary power to a non-legendary piece of gear and make it legendary with that power. Okay. Are the the drops random, or are the caves, like, item-specific? Like They're it... dedicated to a specific power. Okay, so it sounds So like... you can actually... Yeah, so that's here, what I was about to say. Go... So me and you should farm the ones that, that, work, that go for our character, if we can do it. Yep. So if we go, if we teleport out, um, so here, if you pull up the map that you're on right now, it'll only show you the current dungeon. But if you go to the mm -hmm. entrance, there will be like a blue stairway that you can click on, and it'll teleport you back out. Okay, I see it. I see it. Because, yeah, if they're item specific, then we can just go to all the barbarian ones and all of the, the rogue ones and collect all the stuff for us and then put them on whatever weapon we want. If we can get to them, you know, map-wise, that is. Yeah, and it also does take, like, 
significant resources to apply it. So it's not like you can just do it infinitely. Mm. But um, yeah, it is a thing that you can do. It's very, it's very strong.